When I was 10, one of my favorite things about myself was my long curly hair. But all my friends started cutting their hair short, so I cut my hair short. In high school, I wanted to spend all of my time in front of my piano, but my best friends played sports, so I played sports. And after graduation, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to college, so I thought I would take a year off to pursue music. But my guidance counselor said, only losers don't go to college. So I went to college. I kept on thinking there would be a specific day, like a day when people would stop telling me what I should do or who I should be because I was an adult. But it turns out, it doesn't stop. People will always voice their opinions and expectations and it will feel like they matter, but they don't. This is a lesson I've experienced over and over again, but it never really clicked until recently. I realized that the people I admire most are unapologetically themselves. They couldn't care less about the opinions of other people, and they aren't afraid of standing out or looking stupid. They embrace it. Upon realizing this, I'm on my way to doing the same, and it's terrifying, but it's the best kind of fear, because I feel strong, and I feel like I'm the closest I've ever been to becoming the kind of person that I want to be. I call the shots. I determine who I am and who I will become. I've learned that someone else's path is never your path. So don't follow, lead. You'll never regret following your own desires, but you will regret following someone else's. After I cut my hair, I cried for days and I haven't cut it short since. These days, I do spend almost all of my time in front of my piano and I love every minute. And I ended up leaving college to pursue my dreams anyway. And it's all worked out all right. So go with your gut because it's usually right. Take risks, be confident in your convictions. Don't let fear rule your life. Be yourself and the rest will follow. Thank you for giving me a place to be myself. I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>